staying with India, the caste census is back in news. As you know, the census is a decadal exercise. It was last conducted in the year 2011. The 2021 census was delayed by the Wuhan virus pandemic, but now plans are being drawn up. And this time, there is a big question. Should a column on caste be added? Normally, a census looks at things like age, religion, gender, and domicile. But this time, your caste may also be recorded. Reports say the government is yet to take a call, a final call on this. They may or may not go ahead with it. But the fact that they're considering it is significant. Now, I know you have questions. Let's look at the three most important ones here. What is a caste census? What is being considered? Why is it being considered a caste census? And will it help to have a caste census in India? A caste census records the caste of every Indian whether it's general or scheduled caste or other backward classes. The last such census was done in the year 1931. And what did it find? 52% of India's population was OBC. Even back then, two schools of thought existed. One said a caste census would perpetuate divisions. The other said, how can you solve a problem without measuring it? After 1931, no caste data was published in India. So why is there talk of reviving it now in 2024? Well, there's a political angle and a political answer and a non-political answer. Caste politics is rampant in India. A lot of people still vote based on the caste of a candidate. So parties try to capitalize on it. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is leading this push. He has promised a caste census if he comes to power. And it's clearly working because his party doubled its seats in this election. So the idea has traction, which brings us to the non-political answer to this question. Backward castes have been historically oppressed in India. They make up a majority of the population, but only a minority in the corridors of power. To balance this, India has quotas in colleges and jobs. These quotas are set at 50%. That's the cap, 50% quotas. So half the seats for jobs are, are reserved. Also half the seats in colleges, not more than half. But some parties want to tweak it. They say India's caste numbers are outdated and the actual numbers may require quotas beyond 50%. So their argument is social justice. Now the state of Bihar published caste data in 2023. It found that 84% of its population belonged to marginalized castes, 84%. Only 15% belonged to dominant castes. Again, it helped them politically. Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar won the most Lok Sabha seats from the state. He's now a key coalition partner at the center in the NDA government. And where does the BJP feature in all of this? That's the ruling party at the center. They have mostly been silent on the caste census. The party has neither supported nor rejected it. But recently, we've noticed some changes. For starters, the RSS has backed the idea. The RSS is the ideological parent of the BJP. They say a caste census is fine but don't use it for politics. Secondly, the government appears extra sensitive on caste and quotas. Consider what happened last month. The government pushed lateral entry to key positions. Basically, they wanted to hire non-bureaucrats to government jobs, like corporate honchos or researchers. Just one problem, though. Quotas did not apply to lateral hiring. Immediately, there was a backlash. Even the BJP's allies opposed such lateral entries, and within hours, the move was reversed. The government said Prime Minister Modi had personally intervened. It tells you how sensitive the issue is. Maybe that's why the government is considering a caste census, to capitalize on the traction. The question is, do such exercises even work? Do they help? Let's go back to the example of Bihar. After the caste census, Bihar increased quotas from 50% to 65%. But like I said, the legal limit is 50%. So the state's high court struck down the new quotas. Last we checked, the matter is still in court. You see, announcing quotas is easy. It's the shortcut to social justice. But look at the end result. In government jobs, 15% is reserved for scheduled castes and 7.5% for scheduled tribes. But these quotas are not being filled up. Consider grade A government jobs, the higher well-paying ones, that's grade A. Only 13%, 1-3 are scheduled caste and 5% are scheduled tribes. Same in central university jobs. Only 11% of the teaching staff is SC and 5% is ST. Among professors, it's even less. Only 7% SC and 2% ST. Do you see the problem here? Backward castes are, being, are not being able to fill up the reserved seats. 
So we need to go beyond quotas. They may win you seats, but they alone will not solve the problems. You need to invest in the education of backward castes, in their social integration. If not, this will remain a political spectacle.